it can be quite tempting when deciding on which editing software to use. When starting your career in video editing, or perhaps just making a new channel to upload video on YouTube or other video social media platforms. If you are starting new on YouTube, I have 10 tips to get you started which I'll have on the cards above this video. Also, if you are a viewer from India, I have a breaking news for you about a video content platform, so stay until the end to find out. Oh, and by the way, if you are a gamer, I have a top tip for you hidden in one of these editing softwares. Although these programs are free to use, but they also come in paid versions for a more advanced level editing with more features to offer, so don't be afraid to opt to the paid versions if you like any of them. Bear in mind that all of these programs that I'm going to be mentioning are all available on all major operating systems, so Windows, Mac and Linux. And with no watermarks, which means it will not have any company name or logo on it, so that way you can just use it however you want. The order in which I'm going to list them will be starting with the one that requires low system requirement first and then gradually move towards the more professional ones and then conclusion. Link to all the things I mentioned in this video will be on the description box below. And also don't forget to follow me on other social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook where I help you entice those clients and level up your business with online video tips, design and best product reviews. So first things first, the first program that we're going to be talking about is called Lightworks. Lightworks is a simple but powerful editing program which is very counterintuitive or easy to use in other words that can do with starting you on the editing world. So with this you get to have many different real-time effects that can be applied to your video for better viewing or if you want to put some cool effects onto your video. I have actually found out that this piece was there since the 90s which signifies that it can be used on a low spec PC so that way you don't have to buy an old new piece of hardware to be able to work with this. The current computer or windows should just be good. It's a fast program and it can take or allow the import of most video formats with its easy to navigate user interface. However, it does have limitations to its export options and also comes with a max 720p screen resolution or size. Here is the difference between the normal 1080p and 720p resolution. It's no surprise that this software with the free version doesn't give you the ability to export in full HD or 4K and the export format is only limited to MP4. Right, so on number 2 it comes a software that's widely used called Shotcut. So since Windows doesn't come with a classic Windows Movie Maker, this should be a good alternative to work with, which I assume a lot of people have used since starting on YouTube. So you shouldn't have much difficulty when using Shotcut. It contains all the features and tools that you need to put your work together in no time. Talking about effects, it's not as straightforward as other editing programs since this would have to be grabbed from the filter panel which then needs to be added to the video but after you selected your preferred adjustments to it, for example light and color etc. On the other hand, the picture and picture function is also as part of the filters which is not so for many other editing software available. Don't worry though, it should be easy to navigate through once you got used to it. You'll be surprised to know that you could do so many things within this program that not many other free programs can do, such as 3D extruded distortion which is done using pictures. And another thing it does that it allows you to export the file as a GIF animation which is also not offered by many other softwares that I have in the list. So its features doesn't stop there. It has the ability to stabilize the footage to give it a more smooth and zoomed in look for a better view. 
It also offers to import all sorts of file formats to then be able to export them in many different extensions such as MP4, GIF Animation, HDV, WMV and much more. Right, so on number three, we're talking about olives. We're not talking about the olives that you eat, but in fact, the olives that you actually edit your videos on. Have you ever heard that before? Hmm, I assume not. All right, so the logo is green like olive, and so it has been named after olive, I believe. Olive is not the most intuitive to use but has a very similar user interface to all the other major editing softwares like OpenShot, but hasn't been around since long though. Although this program is rapidly progressing with so many users already loving it, it's still an alpha phase, which means it can be unstable and incomplete, but still is a really good program to use as it's still improving and is aiming to provide high-end professional level editing. Hence why so many users are already adapting to it. But from my perspective, we shouldn't really look at the downside of this program because like most other software such as Shortcut, it also has the ability to support so many different file formats with lots of different effects and transitions keyframing animation and it can create slideshows as well and many more download is just a click away and unlike other programs this doesn't come with a paid version however it has humbly included its patreon account on the website for users to donate and help the developer if they wish at number four we have an editing program called davinci resolve which was out in 2004 and with so many versions before they decided on the current one which is DaVinci Resolve 16 I believe and surprise surprise it's not even owned by DaVinci anymore it's actually been taken over by Blackmagic Designs since its name is not very simple to pronounce I won't be wrong not to call it a simple editing software as it's a much more advanced piece and with so many different features and those include color correction or grading multiple trimming tools cool transitions motion graphics fast export sound editing and mixing and the good thing about this is that the interface can be customized to your own liking the other things that it comes with are special effects and much more unfortunately though some of the effects are only limited to trial and just to give you the heads up this has even been used in movie editing such as Hollywood and with the paid version offering much more features and functionalities it could easily be ranked at the top of the list for comparison nevertheless this is also being used for people who do audio production as well and on the other hand it's great to hear that this program can also edit in 4k resolution as that's what youtube aims to rank videos by so if it's a 4k then you rank high if it's like less than 4k then obviously you come at the bottom regardless of how much effort you put in it if it's 4k you'll be ranked high but then you need a higher stick PC because 4K is a very large file which means your computer will be prone to crushing on you if you had a low stick PC. Now, last but not least, so before we jump onto the next one, I would like to break the news to you guys. Unfortunately though, that the video platform TikTok has actually been ordered by court or the government to be stopped in India. The fifth one on our list is Hitfilm Express. The reason this is on the top of the list is because like DaVinci this is an advanced piece but however things are not limited to free version or trial. It also offers professional level editing experience and on the plus side it comes with fully loaded and far more features and it's forever free as quoted on the website itself.
Users have actually moved from their current editing software to Hateful McFest not just because of its user support but also the humbleness of Hitfilm offering free tutorials so users don't have to look anywhere else if they needed to learn anything in the editing process. So as mentioned there are so many features that Hitfilm Express offers and some of them are massive animation tool library, ability to add unlimited tracks with transitions like no other and not only that but you could also build your own transition type and masking if you are a gamer this is a top tip for you you must love this feature of this program of you being able to bring in multiple streams of audio to be synced with your videos ain't that great the best part is that you can copy one clip's attributes and directly paste them to your other clips with no hassle and you could do this to as many clips as you want. So at the end I would like to conclude it by saying that all the programs that I've mentioned to start with a low end such as shortcut to get you started but then, but then don't limit yourself to just exploring only the ones I have cited. There are far more softwares out there but these are the ones that were best for 2020. If you are a fast learner and have a good stick PC definitely consider the high end ones and opt in for the paid version when you are comfortable with usage. And also for some of them you just have to buy the add-ons instead of buying a whole new version of it. 